before I present the unsuccessful, unsuccessful project, just for those who don't know our work, I will start with the successful project. Just to uh, repeat what Jürgen already said, we are the co-editors and designers of this old book project, um, uh, who are probably well known from you, uh, published by Gestalten Verlag, uh, as well as recent uh, book project we co-edited and designed uh, at Gestalten as well. But we are also, of course, commissioned f uh, from uh, for different publishing houses to work for them, or different client, in this case, uh, a brand new book who is presented these days at the Frankfurter Buchmesse. Uh, for Lavazza, we made the concept and the design for the book. But we worked also not just for book publishers, also for magazine publishers like, like Domus, for example. We've made the wall redesign in 2008, as well as the creative direction and art direction, two and a half year long. So if you want to know a little bit more uh, of our work, of course, you can go on our website um, where everything is listed. Yes, um, last year, of course, we didn't made just five projects because it would be um, um, financially uh, a disaster to, just to work on competition. And usually we're not working on competition at all. And it's something interesting is that after a few years and after uh, after being able to work on, on, on different projects, um, you were um, listed as a possible, um, or as a studio who can um, hopefully, possibly uh, participate to competition. And this is very interesting um, um, to understand also uh, why uh, are you asked from clients or from institutions to participate to competitions. Just to start, We, we acquired in the, in the past few years uh, already, uh, of course, um, experience in, in different fields. Uh, in this case, we were lucky to uh, be able to make design for SoundCloud, the corporate design for SoundCloud. Uh, SoundCloud is a platform to exchange music online. Um, and uh, through that, of course, we... Uh, we of course, uh, had the possibility and the experience to, to develop our knowledge in corporate design and new media. But another thing, and that's probably why we were asked for um, the competition in Stuttgart, uh, we, we worked six years long for a uh, long tail project uh, in Switzerland for, my, uh, for the city where I'm coming from. This is something I already present at the uh, Tupo uh, 2008, I think. Um, but just a few words about that. That act actually, because of this kind of project, who are who were at the very beginning not uh, financially not very interesting for us because it takes six years to finish the project. And on the other side, it was um, a very tough uh, project also socially and uh, uh, for the coordination and for the whole project management of the project. Um, the interesting thing, and because you're doing this kind of project in the beginning of your career, you're then invited to participate to bigger project. Um, just here a few words about the logo, because I don't want to present Tramelon again, but um, this is related to the, to the first project, competition project I want to present. For the uh, logo of um, the municipality of Tramelon in Switzerland, we this is the, the, of the new official logo. Uh, the TR in the middle is, of course, for Tramelon. And this uh, TR is actually originally taken directly uh, from the three leaves of the emblem, uh, who is actually, this emblem is existing since 40, 40, uh, 40, 1041, 441. And this is very interesting um, also to understand that for us to be able to develop a new corporate identity and corporate design as well as a new co a communication strategy for, uh, for a city like Tramelan, uh, it was in very important to go back to the traditional um, sign and also to, the, uh, to a sign who uh, improved uh, through the years. And actually, um, our... Uh, um, our way of working was quite similar for for Stuttgart. We were 
thinking about something who is very strong and already existing in, in the mind of the people, not just in Stuttgart, but also in Germany. And it was also meant uh, to uh, connect not just the region, but also the whole um, industry uh, who is in Stuttgart very strong. Uh, the car industry and Porsche, for example, already have this sign in, in his logo. And this was for us actually the main idea was to work with the horse uh, from Stuttgart and to add to the, to the horse uh, these two serifs to be able to create an S based on the body of the horse. But our main uh, work at the beginning of the project was um, being able to make a horse look like an S. And um, that's why we, take, uh, we, we decided to reduce the horse a bit and to take uh, the Dalla Floda as a font, as a typeface to help us to... It's very interesting that the Dalla Floda typeface fits actually perfectly to the form of the horse of Stuttgart. And um, we wanted to, based on the Dalla Floda, to, to recreate um, the new sign for Stuttgart, we had big problems because it was not just about a horse, but it was about the Stuttgart horse, uh, the Stute. And um, the, the thing is that uh, we wanted also not just to have the, the horse, as I said, but also the main, the tail and the second leg. And we had to, uh, to introduce the main, the leg and the tail into, into a sign who is still readable as an S. And this is the logo we developed for uh, the Region Stuttgart, just as a logo. Here with uh, the Ligatur for uh, the logotype. And here with the supplement um, Region Stuttgart. Um, very important thing as well is we, keep, we kept the black color for the logo. Refer, of course, to the, to the black horse in the, in the emblem of Stuttgart. And this is one of the reasons why we didn't want the competition. We learned it after. Um, there is two reasons why we didn't want the competition or why we didn't even go further in the, in the debates. Uh, is that it was too conservative for them um, to, to take um, the horse as, um, um, as a sign for something who actually is oriented to the future. But our, uh, our the idea here was also with the typography try to make something contemporary and try to mix the tradition with, with uh, something contemporary as well. Uh, so the tradition, uh, that it was too traditional, it was one of the main reasons we didn't want. And the second one was that the logo was just treated in black or white. And this is nowadays for a marketing uh, office impossible to imagine. Um, but we didn't just develop this logo, we, we use also the two serifs as, as a graphical element, of course, to be able to uh, use this as a quote sign. And because, as I said, the rejected project, they, they actually didn't accept the logo, but the whole uh, marketing strategy was kept, and um, that's why we had to work with a, a concept who was not from us. Um, and uh, there were these four um, topics we had to work for with anspruchsvoll, erfinderisch, verführerisch. And as you can see, we worked uh, with the visual language, also similar as the horse of the emblem of Stuttgart, that the people in, always the people in the pictures are looking in the same direction than the horse is looking. Entspann. And we have to develop. We had to develop for the uh, competition brochure covers, as you can see here, where the logo and the serif are working together with topics. As you can see here, also that the serif are used as a, a coding system uh, through the different brochure of uh, Stuttgart marketing. We had to develop advertising for uh, magazines with the different topics. The nice thing, it was working also very well on the web for advertising, these two serifs. Uh, it w we were able to, cre to create a small story within a website. Flags, of course, in Stuttgart. It works quite well, I think, in this case. The official seal of uh, the city. Oh, the picture is very bad, sorry. We developed, um, of course, not naturally, uh, the, some uh, 
some s screens for uh, the iPad as well. Um, and if we're speaking about the iPad and iPhone, um, uh, I'm jumping directly to the next project we didn't want last year. And it was also a corporate design project uh, and also for a city. It was the Campus Bielefeld. We were asked, asked from um, the uh, Bielefeld Marketing uh, um, to participate to this competition. Four studio participate. Uh, I think three of them were from the region of uh, Bielefeld. We were the only ones from from outside of the of, of the region, and actually the competition was um, um, from the awarding authority Bau und Liegenschaftsbetrieb NRW, and they are investing one billion euro till. 2025 for the extension of the university campus in Bielefeld. And the interesting thing is that on the university campus of Bielefeld, you have the University Bielefeld, of course, but um, the FH Bielefeld will move there as well. Um, Max Planck Institute and uh, Fraunhofer Institute will move there in the future, as well as probably uh, uh, different new ones institution. And the very uh, our main idea was actually and this was a this was, this was a big problem because we had to um, we had to integrate all this identity within one new identity, and as you can see, we put all these uh, logos of the different uh, entities in this uh, square, which actually represent um, the campus Bielefeld, and for us. Um, it was actually the main idea was that to say that in Campus Bielefeld is the space for things to come. Because, of course, firstly, the university, uh, the Bielefeld University is there, and then the FH, and then the Max Planck Institute. So this would be constantly uh, developing. And this, the, our main idea was to say that Campus Bielefeld is the space for things to come. And as you can see, um, we're using the logo of uh, uh, the institutions. On the back, you have the campus with the partners, uh, Stadt Bielefeld and um, uh, the NRW. And um, actually, because say sp um, we say space for things to come, the things who are coming into the campus are throwing a shadow on the campus. Or you could say not just a shadow, but also a glance to actually work on the emerging uh, innovation uh, who takes place in the campus Bielefeld. And we wanted not just to show the institution, but also show the human behind the institution and behind the official uh, elements. And for us also, it was not just about um, um, a space, but also about human being and about students who are working there every day. We worked similarly also with typography, that we have two levels of typography. And this is the logo we developed for them. The campus Bielefeld, C and B. The C is not there. The C is uh, actually not visible. This is the logo type we've made. Of course, you have to, we have to judge these developments as a competition development. This is all things we uh, develop in a few days uh, uh, within a very, very strict uh, financial uh, frame. And um, of course, we developed here in this case the, the different solutions as well. These are two posters we developed, uh, one for uh, the FH Bielefeld. As you can see, uh, the FH logo is on the top left, but you can still recognize the shape of the main logo. On the right, you have the shape of the logo of the university. And on the back, you have the content. Actually, it's working on different levels. And we put in the shadow or in the glance, we are putting the, the, the story, actually. Signage system we developed work on the same principle. Here by day, the glance is, uh, is, is colorful. And by night, as you can see here, you discover also the human being in the back on site. And what we developed as well, because the, uh, this is also something strange to develop a corporate design for something who is not existing today, but who will exist in 2025. We developed an uh, iPhone application um, for the students and for the 
for the visitors of the campus Bielefeld to be able to discover what will happen in the future on the campus. So we are uh, working uh, for um, also uh, different projects like uh, exhibition projects um, and I, it's important to say that we were commissioned by Home Tactic uh, here in this case uh, during the Football World Cup in Germany in 2006. Uh, it was uh, a commission for the German Federal Agency for Civic Education. We've made the fan shop of globalization which were moving from city to city during the Football World Cup but I don't want to speak about that because um, after that with Raum Tactic again we've uh, had the opportunity to develop the ex exhibition Updating Germany project for a better future. It was the German contribution to the 11th uh, International Architecture Exhibition in Venice. And there it was very interesting to work with Raum Tactic together because they are uh, architects and they asked us something very strange. They asked us to do an architecture exhibition without architecture at all. And um, that's why we developed this mobile for the uh, Architektur Biennale in Venedig uh, in 2008, where, as you can see here, uh, during the, it, uh, the, the opening, it works quite well that no architecture is uh, on the floor, but everything is hanging from the ceiling. And they um, were asked from uh, the IBA in Hamburg uh, for a competition to develop for the Energieberg Georgswerda. Uh, six studios were invited and we participate, of course we were asked from Raum Tactic to develop a concept with them together, as well as with Prototypen from Berlin, exhibition designers. Um, there is a, an architectural, pro architectural project who actually already exists uh, and it was, it was also a competition won by Berlin-based Hefner and Jimenez, Landschaftsarchitekten. They developed this uh, concept for the Energieberg in Hamburg. This Energieberg is glowing in the dark at night. This is uh, the result of the competition. But actually, Energieberg, it's not an, er an energy hill, but actually it's a huge waste dump. And um, after the war in Hamburg, uh, the landfill rubble and, and garbage um, in, in, in Georgswerda, who actually, um, and later after the war and later they deposed toxic waste from the industry around uh, the energy hill. And in 79, um, they, they of course figure out that all this toxic waste and garbage, it's not a good idea to, 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 um, to use this place as a dumping place and they suspend the dumping business at, uh, in uh, 79. And in uh, 83, they discover that dioxin is in the phreatic water under, the, under this uh, dumping site. So that for us, it was quite clear that, uh, as you can see here, this is the Energieberg. And uh, all around the Energieberg, you have the Schrebergarten. In English, in English it's Allotment Gardens. And of course, people living there on the right side, you can see the industry. And for us, it was very clear that actually, this is not an energy hill but it's a trash here. Hey, trouble's my favorite thing. This is one of our main ideas. It's not to speak about the trash hill, but to trash speak here. about the trash hill. Mama told me child there's something. I have to go quick. So our main idea it was actually because it's a trash hill, we don't want to produce even more trash. So we wanted to actually to uh, produce an exhibition without any exhibition uh, uh, object. And for us also, it was very important, you can't really see it here on this picture, but it was important to say that the hill is alive, it's a kind of monster, because it's the toxic waste is still there and it's still uh, in the water today and it's still collected. And for us it was very important just uh, to be able to speak about uh, what you can't see as a visitor and uh, the main idea was to make visible the invisible and that's why actually all the visitor of the hill should get a treasure map uh, as a printed uh, map as you can see here as well as um, uh, you can download an application from their website where you can actually with your iPhone or your iPad move onto the hill and discover what is what you can't see as a visitor, so to make the, in the invisible visible. 
And now I will speak about the last project we've made. We uh, were invited at Kilo Woche. This is not the Kilo Woche placard, but um, just to uh, understand why we were invited to the Kilo Woche. The very interesting thing is we were invited as German studio, uh, even if uh, Thibaut and myself are not German at all. But because we're based, based in Berlin, we were, the, the, we were invited as a German studio to participate to the, to the Kilo Woche placard competition. Um, probably because we won uh, uh, here an award for the 100 best posts of Germany, Austria and Switzerland uh, in 2009. This poster was based on these two uh, further posters we developed for a museum in Switzerland. And we won also another uh, award for this poster last year. It was for the um, Musée des Beaux-Arts uh, de La chaux de -Fonds, Fine Arts Museum in La chaux de -Fonds. We keep uh, going, working for them. This, this one is the actual one, which is now uh, in Switzerland on the street. And that's why we were invited to Kiel uh, to participate to the competition. You can see here on the top Ariane Spagna, who is also from Berlin. She was invited as well to participate. In the middle you can see Bernard Stein, on, uh, who is uh, a member of the jury. On the top you have uh, uh, Melchior Imboden, who was the winner of last year. In the middle, you have Thibault, and uh, ben uh, beneath Thibault, you have Natasha Agapova, which was part of Austin Gruppe. Just uh, say a word after. Our idea for uh, the Kilowoche competition was firstly to understand the, historia, the, the history of, of the Kilowoche competition. And as you can see, blue is apparently the main. It is, it is, of course, not the whole history because it's more than 60 or 70 years of history. But. Uh, this is just a selection, and as you can see, blue is one of the main colors used. And just also to understand that uh, the best poster ever, uh, this is what the jury said, it's this poster from 1964. You have uh, f uh, three squares of a blue color placed on, on the poster, and uh, one of the top uh, right is just moved a little bit to create uh, a sailing uh, a sail of a sailing boat, and this was uh, uh, for the jury one of the best one. But as you can see, sail or white triangles are also part of the history of the competition, as well as wave or the sea. Interesting is that photography uh, didn't won. Uh, there, there were like very few posters uh, developed with photography. And this is the one of last year, developed by Melchior Imboden, which was very, very colorful. So that's why we decided to work in one color tone. And um, our first proposal was to try, to still try to make a photography uh, poster for them, for the Kilowoche, based on the splash or the crashing wave. And, uh, but we didn't uh, make a, a purely photograph uh, poster. Uh, we try to integrate a photography in typography. One important thing I have to say is that for the Kilowoche you're not able to use any kind of type. You have to use the, the un univers for the official uh, slogan and official um, uh, poster part. And this was our first proposal dealing with photography and typography at the same time. Um, this was the poster. And as you can see here, the applications. It works quite well for the car, for example. We were quite proud of that. Um, the, second, the, the second thing we tried is um, to work with engraving, uh, the idea of uh, the traditional engraving. That's why we developed an illustration um, uh, representing waves of the sea. But also, we worked with typography again, as you can see here. Uh, analog to create the backwash of a boat and we superpose the both of them to create our second proposal for the Kilowoche. The last one was actually an ironic tribute to the white triangle. We tried, oh you can't see anything, it's a pity, but actually the main idea was to work with the white triangle and to make a data visualization Actually, it's a pie chart representing 2012. And because the Kilowoche is uh, taking place from between the 16th and the 24th of June 2012, if you have the wall pie is 2012, here in light blue you have June, and in white is the Kilowoche part. And 
through that we had this ironic tribute to the uh, white triangle as well as the uh, uh, supplementary content and we played with the content in a way that here for example for the beer decal and the watch we use we used the system to uh, present even more content into this is the into the city these were the three proposals these are all the proposals from all the participants and because we didn't want this is the, the winner is one of them, and if you can see it, of course, on the website of the Kilo Woche. And the last thing, which the thing is nice, and this is what you mentioned at the very beginning of the presentation, is that, of course, we didn't want the competition. It's a pity, but on, on the other on the other hand, we want a new uh, partner and a new collaboration. That um, this is something we just finished now, and uh, we were commissioned by Natasha Agapova from Austin Gruppe from Moscow to design three posters for a theater magazine in Moscow. This is the first one, which is uh, uh, actually, these three posters are published this month in Moscow. This is the first one we designed for uh, a, a play called The Maya Maid. The second one for a play called The Producers. And the third one, this is the favorite of Thibault, uh, The River. Thank you very much.